what is going on my friends i want to apologize for being lazy on the videos but it's all for good reason for those of you who are looking for a boat update things are happening on the boat they're not happening very fast not nearly as quick as i wanted them to because this COVID thing has turned in is turning companies into skeleton crews and to get parts ordered and get them out promptly has been a big pain in the butt i am still waiting on parts that have been ordered for a month if you look back to the last video or it was like the last video or the last two videos my goal was to go with twin motors i couldn't find decent twin four strokes at an affordable price for any of you that know even just a little bit about boats and motors and whatnot they're ridiculously priced so instead of twin motors and double the maintenance and double the trouble i decided to go with one mercury verado the one thing that i did not account for when i upgraded to the four stroke was when you go to a verado you're going digital it's all fly by wire so every single thing in this boat as far as the motors concerned and the steering's concerned um, it was useless everything had to come out everything had to get ripped out had to get a new steering pump the helms all the wiring all the wiring is ready to go we're just waiting on a couple of hoses and um, everything and we should be able to water test the other thing that I was not thinking about when I made the last video was how are we going to incorporate the deck gear fighting stool but I think I got it so as of right now the transom and stern is on I'm getting everything out of these side cases here batteries and everything are out of these side cases because this is where everything everything was before freed up more storage I'm going to end up decking this off as like a sun deck of sorts it's gonna be kind of like a, a multifunctional deck so this will be this is gonna come out to here and go straight down and I'm gonna have access to get down to the bilges a little bit more storage but this is going to be a deck for the fighting chair and then the fighting chair is a quick disconnect so whenever we're not using it when we're not um, when Jennifer's not fishing for her sharks and groupers we'll be able to take this off and it'll be more seating place to lay down because we are planning to put this thing down to the keys really really soon we're going to be able to do a lot of things with this boat so i'm pretty excited about it maybe even take it across lake okeechobee to the east coast shoot over to bimini into the bahamas who knows the sky's the limit with a boat like this so that's what i'm so excited about when it comes to this particular boat a few other reasons why i haven't been able to get good video or post lately is because we have not just the boat project going on but we have house projects going on and when i'm talking house projects i'm talking about this we are in the middle of putting in a swimming pool everything's changing in the backyard of this house We're putting in a 27 by 13 foot swimming pool. This whole backyard will turn into a little resort retreat. Um, so we're pretty excited about it, but that's taken up a lot of time. We've had to take in, we took all this fence out for the dogs. We've moved the birds gazebo out into the side yard. I'm in the process of building a new privacy fence. Um, a lot of things are going on right now but in the midst of all of this ruckus and all of these projects I have found time to get out and do a little bit of fishing and a little bit of diving and I did get just a little bit of video of a little bit of both so check it out uh. 
right, let's do it.
I want to say that I appreciate everyone's support in this seasick brand. Jennifer's got some new designs that she's working on that we are about to drop. Go to seasick.us, go to my merch store, check it out. I appreciate all the support and all the love, and I will see you soon.